Start the stow guard protection for rough openings with the initial corner protection. Cut four two inch pieces of nine and a half inch wide stow guard mesh. Then place a mesh piece centered in each corner with the sticky side down. This step helps seal the corners of rough openings to prevent air infiltration. Once in place, slightly stretch the mesh piece smooth against the outer substrate. Moving on to the seal of the rough opening, cut the mesh the length of the seal plus 8 inches to allow for overlap with the jams. With the sticky side down, place the mesh centered on the seal so 4 to 6 inches will carry above the corners. Then, firmly push in the corners with the side of the hand. Next, straight cut from the substrate out, then fold down against the outer wall. For the jams, cut two lengths of stow guard mesh equal to the length of the jam. Then place the sticky side down flush to the top of the jam, smoothing down the mesh against the jam. The jam mesh piece should overlap the seal piece a minimum of two and a half inches. Then pull tight and gently flatten against the outer wall. Repeat these steps with the opposing jam. Complete the rough opening protection by cutting a piece of the mesh the width of the head plus 8 inches. Then center the mesh horizontally on the outer wall at the head with the sticky side down so that approximately 4 to 6 inches hang below the head depending on the framing. Straight cut the mesh down from the corners at the edge of the jams. Then wrap the mesh under the head and smooth flat. Trim any excess on the sides. With the stow guard mesh in place, the rough opening is ready for stow gold fill. Beginning at the head of the rough opening, use a trowel to completely coat the mesh, pressing the stow gold fill into the mesh with the edge of the trowel. Spread upward onto the outer wall, then spread under the head. For full protection, smooth the stow gold fill out beyond the edge of the mesh. Then move on to apply stow gold fill in the same manner to the outer wall sides and inside the jams. Be sure to slant your trowel so that the stow gold fill embeds into the mesh completely and evenly. All areas of the mesh should have equal coverage of the stow gold fill. Finally, coat the top of the sill and pull down stow gold fill onto the outer wall beyond the edge of the mesh. Allow material to dry fully before overcoating with Stow Gold Coat. Under normal conditions, typical drying time is within four hours. After the Stow Gold fill has completely dried, it's now time to apply Stow Gold Coat, the extended air barrier protection and waterproofing component in the Stow Guard system. Using a spray applicator, spray short bursts on the jams head, and sill until they are fully coated with a layer of Stow Gold Coat. The thickness should measure a minimum of 10 wet mils. A roller or brush may be used to apply Stow Gold Coat as well. 